All right, guys, competitive jiu-jitsu or training at the academy is a very good chance you're gonna have your back taken. Um, attacking from the back is one of the best positions in jiu-jitsu. So when you're on the flip side of that and you have your back taken, it's really important that you don't allow yourself to become mentally broken. And what I mean by that is you don't just give up and let your opponent uh, submit you. It's very easy to do that, especially when you get your back taken. I know I've had my back taken thousands of times in sparring. And when that happens, if you allow yourself, if you give yourself a pass to just give up, it's um, the momentum shift is so strong that your opponent, there's a you 99% know, chance he's gonna submit you unless time runs out. So instead of giving up, it's important that you drill escape in the back. And when you start to drill it enough, you'll see that it's not as hard as it, as it seems. Um, especially if you can get really good and move with your hips a lot. Um, and, and practice these techniques I'm about to show you. So these, are the, um, these back takes that you're gonna learn are some of the most effective, or the back, take, back escapes, are some of the most effective back escapes out there. Uh, and the first one is the deep half guard. Now, the reason I like going to deep half guard from the back is when your opponent has one hook in, inside, that's actually your deep half guard leg that you're gonna attach to. So it becomes very easy. You start seeing a lot of opportunities for deep half guard when your opponent has your back. And all you have to do is just, you know, shift your hips a little bit and you're in deep half guard from the back. So let's look at how we're gonna to get to deep half guard. So my opponent has my back. Um, first thing I need to worry about here is defense. And the best guys at defending the back, what I've noticed they do is they grab, they grab the gi on, on this top seatbelt arm and they suck this down really, really hard. All right, the more you control this arm, the harder it is for your opponent to actually apply a choke. Even if he has the, the lapel here, all right, even if you're here, if you suck this down, pull his arm down as much as possible, it's gonna be a lot harder for him to get the choke. So we're gonna look at the escape, actually, um, as you know, he has the lapel right here and he's starting to, to, to try to choke me. So if he gets that lapel, um, I wanna prevent it first, of course, but if he does get it, I'm gonna pull this arm down hard, as hard as I can. Now I have to pick a side, all right? I wanna follow this side. All right, it's not wrong to fall to the other side. People say it's wrong. You can fall to either side, but this is my favorite side to fall to, and I'll show you why. So the way I'm gonna follow that side is I'm gonna step my right leg out, and by stepping the right leg out, I can actually push off of that, and I can fall to the side. But as I fall, I wanna try to put my head on the mat if I can. If I can get my head on the mat, the chance I'm gonna escape is very, very high. All right, so I try to get my head on the mat, and now instead of just leaving my hips dead, I'm gonna push and bridge and lift my hips up. Once I'm here, I want to keep my right arm on his sleeve. With his left arm right here, I'm just going to tap his, his hook down. So I like to actually slap the hook and get my knee up. That's the best way i found to clear this hook, all right? You can grab it, extend your leg and bring it up, or slap it and bring the hook um, and clear the hook. As soon as the hook's cleared, I have to be really dynamic with my hips right here. So I'm going to get my hips up and start escaping them out, all right? So I escape my hips out and start to wiggle. But as I do that, my opponent's gonna try to chair sit. So he comes up on his knee, and before he's, he can chair sit, I have to take this right arm, swim it underneath his leg, and grab his gi pants or his belt, and start to move myself in a deep half guard. Now even if he chair sits all the way to the other side now, I still have deep half guard, and I can get my other arm through, and go to the double under pass. So, so where we're gonna stop though, is right in deep half guard, I'm gonna be grabbing the belt with my right hand, I'm gonna protect this left hand immediately by bringing it underneath his leg. All right, so we went from really bad position, almost being submitted in the back, to deep half guard. All right guys, let's go over it again. Sorry guys. So my opponent's on my back. First things first, control this top arm, pull it down hard. Now to be able to fall to the side I wanna to fall to, I'm gonna step my leg right here on the mat. Now I'm gonna use that and I really wanna um, direct my head. I'm going to take my head and try to put my head on the mat over here. Now, before I can start to escape the back, you want to clear this bottom hook. So, you can slap it and then bring your knee down, straighten your leg, and bring the leg up again. It may take you a few tries to clear this bottom hook, but you're not really in danger of being choked here as long as you keep, keep this top arm, pulling down this top arm. Once I've cleared the bottom hook with this free hand, I'm going to start to get my head to the mat and bridge my hips up. The goal here is to get your shoulders all the way to the mat.
but that's, that's rarely going to happen. As soon as you start to do this, your opponent's going to try to chair sit. And as he does that, it's from underneath his leg. Escape all the way in a deep half turn. All right, guys, so the three key details from this position is number one, first you have to defend the choke. So take both of your hands, grab that top arm, that seatbelt arm, and pull that down for dear life. Even take your opponent's gi sleeve out and pull the material out of his gi sleeve and just pull that, pull that arm down as hard as you can. That will prevent a lot of chokes. Second key detail is you want to put your head on the mat. If you can actually take your head and put it on the mat, that eliminates a lot of, uh, a lot of counters your opponent can do to you escaping your hips out and getting to deep half guard. So you're going to put your head all the way on the mat. The third key detail is you're in deep half guard when you can take your arm and come underneath his leg, okay? So you want to be looking for that as soon as your opponent starts to feel that your hips are coming out, he's going to readjust. As soon as he readjusts, you bring that arm inside and get to deep half guard. Guys, the number one thing I see that people do wrong with that is they don't swim that arm out quick enough. So as you're escaping your hips out, make sure you're looking for that arm and looking for that hole right away. If you can get that arm underneath, you're out. You're out of the back. If you leave your arm over your opponent's leg, he still has your back. So the quicker you can swim your arm underneath and get inside, the better.